All right, so moving on to the next segment, I'll be sharing my thoughts on Devontae Adams being traded to the New York Jets. So the New York Jets have traded for star wide receiver Devontae Adams. It is officially a done deal. The New York Jets sent the Las Vegas Raiders a conditional third round pick that could possibly become a second round pick. So this is huge. I mean, the Jets stay making headlines, huh? Last week, I said on the podcast episode that I was sharing my thoughts on the Jets firing Robert Sala. Now this week, I talk about the Jets trading for Devontae Adams. So more news and more drama in the Big Apple for the New York Jets. Oh, so I'll be sharing my thoughts on this trade. Now, don't get me wrong. As a football fan, this is going to be fun to watch as an offensive guy and myself being a game, loving the game of football on the offensive side of the ball. Ha seeing Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams, that pair play again together because they did some great things together in Green Bay with the Green Bay Packers. They were a good one-two punch, a good quarterback and wide receiver duo. The only thing that they didn't accomplish in Green Bay was winning a Super Bowl together. Now they find themselves playing together once again for the New York Jets. However, this trade does not patch up the problems that the New York Jets are still going through. The New York Jets still find themselves at two and four, tied for third place in the AFC East. They just fired Robert Sala a week ago. Nathaniel Hackett, their offensive coordinator, was demoted. The Play calling that I saw on Monday Night Football was good at point at some uh, some points of the game, but it still looked pretty bland overall. Your offensive line still stinks. Tyron Smith, a veteran guy, veteran offensive lineman for the Dallas Cowboys, now finds himself with the New York Jets, was getting manhandled and destroyed and looked like a shell of himself out there last night playing for the New York Jets. So the offensive line is still bad. The offense is really not hitting its stride and what it's supposed to be. And you just fired your head coach a week ago, the best coach on that coaching staff, and you find yourselves two and four. How is Devontae Adams really going to come in there and save the day? And if he does, are you really going to be content with this New York Jets team, the way have they started off, the way have they played, to hang, up, hang in there with the big heavyweight contenders in the AFC of the Kansas City Chiefs, the Baltimore Ravens, the Buffalo Bills, the Houston Texans? I don't know. And I, based off of what I've seen, I don't think Devontae Adams can really help turn things around this season for the New York Jets. But never say never. Um, I also will say for this trade, I kind of feel bad for Garrett Wilson, wide receiver for the New York Jets. I mean, Garrett Wilson is a youngster that's just been waiting for uh, really waiting to break out and play with a legitimate quarterback since he's been drafted there in 2022 when he came from Ohio State. I mean, he's had two back-to-back 1,000-yard -back seasons in his first two seasons in the National Football League playing with quarterbacks of Zach Wilson, Mike White, Joe Flacco. That's a hard task to do. And you still had two back-to-back 1,000-yard -back seasons? I mean, don't get me wrong, that's hard to do. But I feel like this Jets team really didn't allow him to be a true number one wide receiver. And now he has to be the second wide receiver in this offense because Devontae Adams, you know, Aaron Rodgers is basically the dictator of the New York Jets team already. He's going to have to be the second wide receiver now, which I don't think it's really, I'm not going to say it's not fair, but that is, that does kind of suck for this kid because the potential is there and you really didn't see the true number one wide receiver connection of Garrett Wilson and Aaron Rodgers fully grow yet because they only played six games together but if the Jets cannot make the playoffs I'm still pointing the finger to Aaron Rodgers because he orchestrated this whole entire problem with this Jets team when they kept saying oh the Jets are one quarterback away from being a contending team no there's no I in team because even with a contending quarterback you still find yourself at two and four basically in the same situation you found yourself in with Zach Wilson over the last few years in New York so it just goes to show a quarterback isn't just the difference maker in a football team in the National Football League. You need everybody being on the same page, a cohesive unit on both sides of the ball, and you need structure. And that's what this New York Jets team overall is lacking is structure. A true leader to this team as well, because you could say Aaron Rodgers is the leader, but he's throwing guys on the Bucks bus like Mike Williams, who actually might be traded based off of him 
Uh, Aaron Rodgers and Mike Williams not connecting on the same page of that Monday Night Football game last night where Aaron Rodgers threw the game ceiling interception when Mike Williams fell on his route. I don't know what route it was, but the two weren't on the same page. And Aaron Rodgers pointed the finger to Mike Williams in the press conference. So, and he might be on the trade block now because of what the wide receiver debt that it, the New York Jets have. But now this New York Jets team has an offense of Aaron Rodgers at quarterback. You have the one-two punch at running back of Brees Hall, or Breland Allen. You have Devontae Adams at wide receiver, Garrett Wilson as your second wide receiver. Receiver, you basically throw Alan Lazard now in the slot. This offense has been really the problem for this New York Jets team the first six weeks of football. The defensive side of the ball has been doing everything they can to keep them afloat, and they haven't been bad at all. It's been the offensive side of the ball that has really been bad. Once again, the offensive line stinks. The passing game at times wasn't getting into rhythm and stride. They couldn't run the ball in certain weeks in certain situations. So if this doesn't work and the Jets miss the playoffs, it's going to number eight, Aaron Rodgers, to be the blame. We'll see if Devontae, this Devontae Adams trade works out. But in my opinion, Devontae, this Devontae Adams trade does not save the day for this New York Jets. And they still have a lot of problems to clean up as they have started the season off two and four.